Hello everybody, I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani here at KDUAM. I don't know if you got a chance to watch uh, the show that I did last night in my interview with Bear Vince uh, Vince Kitigua with uh, Show Your Role, and he's having a whole bunch of events that are happening starting this weekend, and I'm with Tone, who's also with Show Your Role, and we've got a room full of talented people, uh, musicians, artists, and some world champions. I'm really, really excited to meet everybody, so let's go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves. Right. Well, I'm Tone, I'm from Show Your Role, originally from Santa Rita, well, I'm born, uh, born and raised, so uh, I'll pass it around the room. This is Kittel. Yeah, my name is Kattel Kubis. I'm striking coach at my club team and I'm here to celebrate the team, show your team. Jezeri Matuda from Brazil, here in Guam. <laughs> Marcos Almeida, first time here in Guam as well. Uh, part of the show your family, enjoying the paradise. Harvey Jimeno uh, from Albino and Preto, uh, born and raised in uh, Harmon, so local boys. Uh, Luke Jarvis, part of the Show Your Old team, here taking pictures and video. So my name is Gutenberg Pereira, uh, I've been part of the Albini Preto team, and I'm just enjoy the beauty of God. Hi, I'm DJ Retmatic, I'm from a group called the Beat Junkies from Los Angeles, California, first time here in Guam. Part of the Shoyro AP crew. All right. Well, let's talk yeah. about um, tomorrow. That's when uh, the open mat, the yes. uh, jujitsu workshop seminar uh, starts. Tell us about that. So, um, what we wanted to do, how Shoyro and friends all came, is we wanted to uh, bring some of the guys who have influenced us and helped build our company um, back home to, uh, to to share them with our community and. Uh, Show Your was started here, so this is where our ethos begins. So, knowing all these influencers and how much they've inspired us, we knew that they could do the same thing for Guam. So we we put together this whole weekend of events, and one of them is the show, the uh, open mat you mentioned. It'll be at the Guam Museum. Uh, we'll start with the kids seminar first, that will be hosted by these world champions. You know, I can't even count on both hands how many world champions they have. <laughs> Uh, to com combine but um, they're gonna work with the kids from 10 to 11 and then between 11 and 12 there'll be time to take pictures and stuff and um, and kind of reset before the adult which uh, the adult open mat which will happen from 12 o'clock to 2 p.m. and they'll teach a few techniques it'll be like a typical seminar jujitsu seminar um, just shared with a couple of our talents here and um, and then yeah, it's an open mat. So uh, typically, most gyms they will train within themselves. There's not a lot of cross training, um, but this is one of those opportunities where the whole community comes together and they unify as one, and we roll together and share our jujitsu together on the mat. However good, however not so good, I'd be on the ladder of that. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we get down there and uh, hug it out is what we like to say, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So is this your? First time for most of you uh, to be on Guam? Yes. All right, so let's just, uh, when did you all get here? At different times, right? Different yeah. Times? yeah. Different times. Okay, well, let's just talk about uh, what you guys have done so far and what you think about Guam. Well, I think we should lead it off to Jazari and Katel. How, yeah. how, tell us about yesterday a little bit. Uh, Guam already has a very special place, you know, in my life. It's a beautiful place. You guys are so lucky to live here. And yesterday we went to the north of the island and to discover like new bits. And it was an amazing day, very good experience. What did, what did they do? We actually took them to up towards Aru now. And then um, what we did is uh, we had uh, Mark or Artero, he escorted us back into their properties and stuff. And, and they, uh, they took us to uh, the land where our old people come from, you know. And it was really special for me just to even be there and coordinating a shot with our photographer, Luke. Luke is from um, England, and he's a brilliant photographer and videographer, so he really captured Guam in a cool way. And um, we just went out there and had fun, you know, and just vibed and felt the island vibes. And these guys were just, they couldn't believe it was their first day here, and we, like, literally, like, if... Like you couldn't put is that many stories on an Instagram feed if you tried, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we talked a little bit about the seminar, uh, but there's also uh, 
the craft music festival. Yeah, there's a craft music festival, and so part everybody that's involved in this has some tie to jujitsu, whether it be they train or whether this is they make their living doing this. So. Um, even the craft beer brewers and the beers that are going to be there, many of them are brewed by guys who do jujitsu and train as well with their craft is beer. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what the show you roll in friends is. These are all friends that we share the mat with. So DJ Repmatic is from the world famous Beat Junkies. If you don't know, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, we have him and we have Humble Soul alongside Four Piece Band and uh, Big Ben from Malesu. Oh, yeah. And it'll be a nice treat. It'll start off with Big Ben in a nice acoustic set and he has a couple of friends to do some things that people haven't seen yet. Um, Four Piece just got off a big tour. Um, I, I think they're touring over a month. I caught them in Monterey at the Cali Roots Fest and they, they were absolute the highlight of the thing, uh, of that uh, festival. Then um, they're back now, so they're gonna be with Humble Soul as well. And then we'll close it out with DJ Repmatic and, uh, he does uh, some beat juggling and some cool stuff. Yeah, I was gonna I ask, think, what do we, uh, what can people expect? Uh, well, for those who don't know, like uh, I, uh, I'm a, what they call a turntablist. Basically, play. Uh, I use the turntable as a musical instrument. So, but I. Uh, like a. Nice yeah, I'm doing all the scratching. scratching. And all okay. that, you know, Sorry. That stuff. <laughs> so uh, uh, my my crew were really known in the in the hip hop scene. We were uh, we. Help uh, revolutionize turntablism in the '90s. So, like, um, my crew, you know, we used to be battle DJs. I used to compete back in the day. So, my crew were, were also like them, world champions in jiu-jitsu. We were kind of world champions in, in in the DJ competition and stuff like that. So, I'm retired though. So, um, uh, <laughs> coming out of retirement. No, no, I'm just just, here to <laughs> just play music and hopefully entertain the crowd and stuff like that. And just got, got to train. With these guys here, so I'm just a blue belt. So like, the blue belt, it's still, still good. Red is one of those jujitsu successes that uh, when he when he adopted jujitsu and, and took on this uh, lifestyle, he was probably I would say three rets bigger right now. <laughs> so if you see him on the internet, you look him up. You might not recognize him, but it's the same Ratmatic. But this is the jujitsu 2.0 update. Yeah. And um, Al, you said uh, Al, Albino Brett. Yeah. Tell me about that brand and how you guys have took the show roll, right? Yeah. You guys are a it's a fam It's family brand. It's our brother company. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's you know Albino Preto is a family brand. It's part of, you know we we're all from Guam and just sharing the same passion. Um, obviously, you know, uh, visually some of the stuff's a little bit different because we have our different directions on like how we envision things, but. Mm -hmm the core part of the brand where we're all the same, you know, we all come from the same island, we have the same passion, um, and just who we are, it's, it's all, it's all organic and natural. I think the biggest thing is we love culture and we want to build culture, you know, and jiu-jitsu is a big part of our lives and uh, we have other things outside of jiu-jitsu that we kind of form into the brand, you know, um, whether it's music, fashion, um, art and we just you know bring it together and, and I think that's the biggest thing is uh, building culture so when RV says about culture we're talking about art culture music culture um, fashion culture mm -hmm. we all bring this into one with jujitsu being the foundation uh, one of the things we try to do is just really just stay in our lane we're not trying to beat everything and if it if it connected to the company it's connected through jujitsu in some sort of relationship so it's never this disconnect where we're reaching out to this project that has nothing to do with our jujitsu culture. It's always part of the same ethos. And I think what Arby's saying is really cool. Like the companies through AMP and Shoiro were able to have sort of a different persona for both of the brands. And AMP is really cool because it's an aspiring, it's for the aspiring rising athlete. But from a fashion standpoint at the top of the game. So it makes it really cool for these young guys who understand some of these young things coming through the ranks. And and then later on, some of them come become show roll guys. But AMP really fosters the early years of a jujitsu. Not talking about white belt, but there's some blue belt guys on the team and purple belt yeah. world champions on the team. And it's like from blue to, to brown and now to black. And with that leading in on, 
take it over to Gutenberg. He's the newest rising, uh, like our newest rising star. He's our the the rookie of the year for us. But he's a brilliant jujitsu guy, and I let him tell him a little bit about himself. But yeah, so my name is Gutenberg, as I said before. So yeah, be part of the the A and B uh, team, and uh, for me, it's a pleasure like to be part of. Uh, a great team like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's the, it's the best brand in the world, for sure. Like a brand of Fred and Shiro. So for me, it's a pleasure uh, to be able to, like, work hard and, like, represent these guys. So it's cool. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to... I just wanted to give a quick background of his as well. He started jiu-jitsu in Brazil where they, he was in a social project. And the social projects they have around Brazil is where... They're like uh, they're nonprofits that uh, provide uh, support to the community in the way of jujitsu, and so these kids that are in uh, the favelas and some of the other places, they can go here and train for free, you know. And they share gi, and I've seen seen some both Arvi and I have seen some pretty interesting mm -hmm. projects down there. Well, Wam has one, and it's ran by uh, Spider Man runs it actually up in the Ganya Heights. So he had an opportunity to go and uh, and see the kids and who are. Pretty much in a Guam social project. Tell us a little bit about that uh, experience. Just tighten them. Yeah, I went Jess there. Fireman, tighten them. I went there yesterday, and uh, no one's cool. Like, as I told him, like it's hard to see like people that is gonna like sacrifice a little bit of your day mm -hmm. to teach like kids for free. So that's what really is something that like inspired me to do because it came from from one project. So that's that that's the project was cool, and uh, like, there's a bunch of kids like. It's nice. It's nice to see that. They're amazed by your size. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so big. But yeah, it was cool. It was nice. And it was totally unplanned. We had found out Jess was doing it. One of the guys on our team, AJ Leon Guerrero, uh, from Talafofo, he um, he pop had an idea pop in his head. He just hey, Jess is doing this thing, and so we got him up there, and it was all natural. It was unplanned, and when he showed up, the kids were just <laughs> over the roof. <laughs> I think Jess thinks his name's Glutenberg, but it's Gutenberg, <laughs> just for the <laughs> record. I'm fixing that now for my boy Jess. It's, it's Gutenberg. <laughs> um, anyone else? Yeah, um, yeah, tell Bushesha. me about Man, there's so much this guy. <laughs> it's hard to talk about he myself. He can have his own show. <laughs> no, but like I'm um, 20 year, 28 years old. I started Jiu Jitsu when I was around 12, 13. Because of my sister she was the one she started she was like 15 years old and you know like for a kid of 15 years old you can't say no right as a dad my father was like yeah if I say no she's gonna be like you know rebel and so yeah go do whatever you want but then she uh, he is like no I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check it out but he used to say like ah, this is a crab fight I don't know I don't like that <laughs> But then he started going there to like watch her mm -hmm. and end up training and fell in love. Then they both like pushed me to start doing too. That's how I got involved with I remember my father used to like bribe me a little with like, no, no, I, I buy you Coke, Coca Cola, uh, like a uh, chocolate cake. And like, oh, nice. And my father never does that. But when I was going to Jiu Jitsu, he was doing it. So I, I used to like, and then my my sister she she got a boyfriend and she quit and me and my father kept doing it until we got the black belt together like after like eight years yeah so that was how i started this sport and then after that just keep competing and I'm still here asking what bushesha means what does bushesha mean in portuguese it means cheeks you know like chubby cheeks <laughs> <laughs> i used to be a little bigger <laughs> like, no they're like a chubby, chubby kid, and that's how I got the nickname. All right. Well, thank you so much. Is there any final comments you wanted to make? Mom, no. I just, uh, I'll just talk about this guy one a little oh, bit okay. because yeah, yeah. he's here. You know, John Tuck's our pride of Guam for John. UFC, mm -hmm. man. You know, and um, we're big MMA lovers, just as big as jujitsu lovers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kitel actually, I T had uh, brought. Um, Get tell in he's the husband of Jazari and it worked out perfect and he's here training actually he's gonna be training today with John Tuck tell us a little bit about your experience at Spike and training there in the backyard 
Um, I, I saw the John fighting, and but I didn't realize how, how good he is. He's very real potential for Ghana on MMA, and definitely in, in soon, maybe the next fight, or if not the next fight, he's gonna shine. <laughs> he's very good prospects, and he's trained very hard, he's very talented, he's very dedicated, and I'm very impressed with like, how he performs very well in, in UFC, without it, it's, it's extrude, like yeah. he doesn't have too many training partners, and I told him, hey, man, if you go to um, a, like a big team to improve yourself, man, for sure you're gonna be top 10, top five, and maybe become a champion, you know? Imagine if you go and has a UFC champion, it's gonna be amazing. Very possible, uh, very possible. I, I know, John, I said John, John, John is, uh, congratulations to John, because he's doing a very good job. Yeah. Yeah. I actually interviewed him, that's his goal, to be a champ. He's also a good dancer, if you've ever seen him. He's a great <laughs> dancer, he's a great dancer. We, we did a dance challenge, so I know I he can do it. We did a dance challenge, so I know he can do it. Yeah, we did a dance challenge, so I know he can do it. Yeah, we did a dance challenge, so I know Sunday at the craft fest, I do He has. Oh, oh, yeah. He's been practicing, you know, the... the I know it. Dance. I did it on the show last night. You did it last night? You got yours in? Yes, oh, I did. Awesome, oh, awesome. All right, well, thank you, guys. Yeah. Anything else? Just to wrap it up, guys, if you're out there and you can make it down, we're not made of sugar, so the water won't make us melt away. Come out, party, rain, or shine. Uh, Saturday will be an open mat. 10 to 11 for kids, 11 to 12 short break, and then we'll resume 12 to 2 for the adults. That's an open mat on Saturday at the Guam Museum. And then um, sun, Sunday, we'll pick it back up, 12 o'clock our gates. Um, you can get your tickets at www.craftguam.com. Um, there'll be over 10 plus exclusive beers to try. Food is included in the ticket costs. We have a bunch of live entertainment, Big Ben, Four Piece Band, Humble Soul, DJ Repmatic, Show Your Own Friends, Sajus Masi. We love you guys. Bye.